Welcome to episode 153 of a Cigar Hustler podcast. Still the number one cigar show on Podbean. Yes. You have to mention that every week. That's what they do. It's what the professionals do. Oh, you let them know. This is the Christmas episode. It. Oh, that's right. Yes. You said you had, you had some No, trials. I don't have anything. <gasps> Not that special. Oh. But before we get started, though, we have a little bit of business to take care of. Michael. Yes. Yes, we do. <clears throat> you probably noticed this lovely humidor here on our table. Uh, today's show is brought to you by the Octador by Case Elegance. You should go like this, Michael. You be Vanna. The team at Case Elegance has spent years meticulously crafting this humidor to be their largest and best yet, fitting up to 100 cigars. This deluxe humidor features a striking octagon silhouette, mm-hmm. posh black piano finish, glass top, front digital hydrometer, yes. accessory storage drawer, Spanish cedar magnetic closure and a patent pending hydro system. It does. Case Elegance has undergone extensive research, testing, and customer feedback to solve many shortcomings commonly experienced with other humidors. True. Cleverly recessed into the base is the included patent pending hydro system. You can see here in the video running up to my left. An accurate and low maintenance cigar humidification system that makes dialing in and maintaining your humidor easy. Yes. Case Elegance has integrated a front-facing digital hydrometer. Which I love. Offering you peace of mind that your sticks are kept to the desired humidity. Mm -hmm. Properly store your lighter, cutter, and travel case in the large bottom accessory storage drawer. This stunning octagore is finished in a lacquered black piano with a slight undertone of black wood grain. The solid state metal hardware mirrors the octagonal shape and comes in a modern space gray finish. The Octador by Case Elegance is one of the highest rated and most comprehensive cigar humidors on the market. A striking shape, beautiful finish, and thoughtful engineering makes this a must-have for any cigar aficionado. Mm-hmm. Please go to caseelegance.com for more information and purchase. Yes. This is a really badass humidor. It is. Very cool. It's really, now, really we, nice. We just got it today, so it is adjusting, yeah. but it has been seasoned. Yes. And the introductory... Uh, 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 liquid, I can't remember yes. the liquid. I'm sorry, uh, is been put into the patent pending hydro system, which yes. is built into the bottom. It's cool because it's that, all flush on the bottom. All that shows in the in the video here. Yeah. that's running on the side. I just really really love the fact that it's got a digi on the front. That is nice. because so many humidors have that analog, and they're so they're inaccurate. So inaccurate. It's a pain mm-hmm. in the butt. It is. So I mean, you could just look at it, and you will know. And this thing is the sharp. Cigars are. Uh, oh, and right. it's got a really tight seal too. Yes, it does. Yeah. It, it's actually uh, a little hard to open. Not not badly hard, but it does have a nice... Uh, oh, ooh, that's a strong magnet. Yeah. It's got magnets so, up top. Magnets. This thing is beautiful. It's beautiful. So again, you go to uh, C-A-S-E-E-L-E-G-A-N-C-E dot com uh, for more information and to purchase. You can buy it directly from Case Elegance. Love it. So thank you, Case Elegance, and uh, welcome to the Cigar Hustler podcast family. we got to find out if they wholesale, too. Oh, yeah. yes, we'll find that out. We'll we will, we will con- uh, make a, uh, a uh, inquiry and find yeah. out. Absolutely. So, uh, hey. on, with the, on with the show. On with the show. Here we are. Here we are. Well, um, do you have something to do? Uh, what? I, got, I mean, I got a couple little things. Oh, please, here. go right ahead. I was just I jumping right into it. I'm so excited. You're ready to go into the news already, huh? I know, the papers are here. I just want to start reading. I feel like, I, you know, I, I look at myself on the videos and I'm like... Man, you're such a pig. <laughs> Get yeah, your shit stuff together. Oh, you, you mean know? with the ashing all over the table? No, the not the ashing. I'm just talking about my <laughs> the stuff. And all that. This is everything else. Just let it fly so, everywhere. So on my Facebook page, I did like this little uh, fundraiser. I didn't want to go crazy. Oh, yeah, the fundraiser for your uh, children's school. Yeah, and, and I didn't want to promote it uh, like nuts. You know, right. I didn't want to do it on the podcast and, you know, all these other things. But uh, I did want to help my kids out. They were trying to raise money for their school. And, you know, normally their school does like this huge fair and uh, it's a big to do, and obviously because we talked about it last year on the show. Yeah, the yeah, because because uh, you know I, I volunteered before. Yeah, and oh, yeah. that's right. Oh, you yeah, had yeah. to work. Oh, you yeah. did the uh, the vacuum booth thing yeah. with the spray. Yeah, you and I pass it out to. And I let the, the kids pick up the money right. off the ground right. and stuff. Just get get some more. And then I've had teachers yelling. Father at me. Pedro was very upset. What are you doing? I'm like. Everybody wins here today. Son, stop giving away the yeah. farm. So I couldn't. I obviously couldn't give give my time this Correct. year. Yes. So I wanted to help my my boys out, and I did a fundraiser or help by raising, uh, giving away some some of my rare cigars that I yeah. have here. So uh, I have a cigar here that I I gave a, that I made for the birth of my son, my second son. Yes. Which I love. Skip hates, but I love the Apollo Danny. It's a very good cigar. Yeah. It's a, I, I really, it's a, you know, for sure. You know, it's really kind of funny because three of these limiteds in here are Corona Gordas. You know, if that doesn't tell you something about me, 
right? Oh. Uh, I put in SBC 16 and SBC 18 as well. Oh, very good. Mm-hmm. And then we have the Chromag Connecticut Broadleaf. You know, I've only seen one of one other of those. Yeah. And so, uh, um, uh, the guy at Nickel City was smoking it. Real? Oh, Tommy? Tommy. So, Tommy yeah, Farrell. so Rosales yes. gave this to me, uh, and I just, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it, it, it would be better off in someone else's home. So I put it in here, and then we have the er- er- elusive, the 320 Sycamore. <gasps> here. Ooh, the so Christmas th- cigar. Yeah, so that was a cigar that I made last year? Um, uh, year before, I think. Two years ago. Maybe two yeah, years ago. I think ago. it was two years yeah. ago. Son of a bitch. Wow. Man, I'm getting old. And uh, I only made a few of them, so I wanted to incorporate all these and kind of, you know, help help my boys raise some money. So yes, so we did that. They yes. me, they met their goals, uh, and exceeded I have the goals, I believe. What? Oh yeah, they well exceeded yes. the goals. Thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you so much for everybody who who helped out, and I'm going to draw the winner right now, out of this lovely oh. postania box. Oh, is it fair that you draw the winner? Would you like to draw the winner? I would like to draw the. Okay, winner. Okay, you can draw the winner. I will draw the winner. Now, which one was I supposed to get? No looking. No, no looking. No, no, no looking. Ooh, holding hands. Oh, oh. Wow, they're very small. I yes, they are small. Have. Okay, I have one. Okay. I want let's see, how many let's I see who it is. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. And the winner is... Like, pick a different one? No. <laughs> no, no. The winner is Heather Callahan. Hey! All right, Heather. Well, hey, Heather, thank you very much for, for contributing. Yes, so. thank you. Oh. If you uh, contact us here at the shop or through the podcast yeah, or I'll reach out social to you. Media. And oh, I'll or Michael will call you. Yeah. So, so thank you very much. Yes, thank you everybody for contributing that. That was a you know that was a big deal. You know, and, and do you want to put this in a little bag so you remember? And this year's tough. You know, it's been no. I'll take care of it. It's you know. I'll follow up, Heather. Don't worry. There's been a, yeah. There's wait a second. You're the one that guarantees stuff on the Patreon. Never fucking ships anything. You so guarantee it. it, not me. I'm like, hey, let's do this. You're like, okay. That's fine. I gave you the list, and you said you'd take care of it. Right. I told you that I was going to build a database for you, and I said that last week because you haven't been getting it done. It's very busy, Michael. I'm I'm super, super busy. busy. Super, yeah, busy. busy. super busy. Super busy. Mm-hmm. So some people have got them. So it's not a com- that's true not by com- default. Not a complete default. Yeah, because because the, the orders go out. I'm like, hey, didn't we? Hey, did this guy get one? Yeah, no, no, no. Put, dude, yeah. put that that's, in there. That'll there be nice and confusing too when we go to follow up. And I don't we go remember to who? Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna get two, some of you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, spoke them both. Um, I don't let's see. Let's see what else I got here. What else, What that, did you do all weekend? That was important to me. I mean, uh, what did I do this weekend? We uh, we had some friends down from uh, North Carolina. Yeah. Then we went and visited them, and uh, they're still way locked down up there. They said you get to Florida, it's like COVID does not exist. Yeah. Like yeah, we're totally fine here. It's fine. It's, 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 no, it's, it's no, fine. no big deal. Yeah. Everybody's got it, or everybody's going to get it, yeah. or everybody's had the shot. Well, you know, I mean, I person. did recently put up a post on Facebook that there's reason to believe. Oh, that's right. That nicotine is actually a blocker for this virus. I, I believe it is true, not a reason to believe. I, you know, I believe it is true. We were discussing that today. I mean, technically, knock on wood, nobody here inside the shop has gotten yeah, it. Definitely knock on wood. We've had some close calls. Yeah. But that was from outside thing. It wasn't like. One of us gave it to somebody else here. Right. It was somebody in their family gave right. it to somebody. Or something of that. Something in that matter. So I'm going to keep smoking. I might smoke more. It's probably for the best. Probably for the best. Yeah. So increase you, the smoking. Uh, stay safe. Stay, stay safe. safe out there. We're stay just trying to save there. lives. <laughs> trying to save lives. Here's the cigar hustler. Yeah. Oh, you should do a, uh, uh, what would you call it? A, um, hmm. uh, what's, what's the shot called everybody's getting? What, what are we talking about? The. Not the cure, but what, what are they calling the the vaccine? Uh, the vaccine oh sampler. Oh man, it took you a while it to get there. Took you a while there. to find that. Yeah, but I wasn't going to help you. The vaccine <laughs> sampler you should do. <laughs> the vaccine sampler. All postania yeah. and this this will save you. <laughs> no, no, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, you yeah. can't claim that in case somebody no. gets it. But the, but uh, if you jump on my my personal Facebook page, the link is the up link there, is there for the, the actual there. research. Right. From the it, CDC, or was it? Or uh, it well, it was copied. I think that there's a, uh, a government site that grabs all the research, but I think that it's oh. a study that's going on overseas. Yeah, I think it was. Mm-hmm. So a European country, not yeah, an Asian Yeah, I think it was country. France or something. Oh, well, they all smoke cigarettes there, so that's probably oh, it. The smoke of the, I, don't think the cigarette, I don't think a cigarette is as good. No, because it has all the other companies. Yeah, it's not as natural. It's so not maybe pure. It's just who smokes a lot of cigars. Spain, maybe Spain. And the vaping, actually, the, they said the that vaping? the vaping is is oh, the bubble is lung. Possible. You can't grab a hold. Can yeah, no bubble. No yeah. bubble. The oh, yeah. bubble lung. Okay, so yeah, that you works. Out. The bubbles. You know, uh, we really pissed off Ronnie apparently with a podcast. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, apparently, it was really apparently really has me blocked on social media. The it, little baby. He probably has you blocked from for the weasel team stuff. That, big as baby. I thought about it, but I think that we should just give him a call real quick. Oh. 
and we'll see how this goes. He has no idea we're gonna call. Can we hang up on him if it if it go if he goes long? No, I just well maybe we yeah we'll, we'll have to okay. cut him off. But right. I mean I would you know what we're the already hell? ten minutes in. You know here's the deal. You know we got to we really got to kind of lay into him and he was you know he responded on my Facebook page in oh, anger. So I figured why not give him a shot to really kind of lay into us and oh yeah, sure why not well, what the hell turnabout's fair play. Make Let, let's see is, yeah. Uh, that is on. The yeah. mic is on. He said so. that we, you know, nobody watches or listens to anything. And I was like, I don't well, know. It's the number one show on Podbean yeah. for cigars. So I thought I, I thought it'd be good. Let's see if he answers. Oh, it's ringing. Let's see. Let me take a sip of my water here. Yeah, you're going to have to need a long thing. Your call is oh, right to oh voicemail. we were sent a voicemail. Oh, ooh, I got a text. Let's see. I'm working out. Can't talk now. No, no. He's, he already did his uh, He already did his cardio this morning. He says, oh. give me a minute, please. Thanks. Oh. Oh, so busy. Hmm. I'll give him a minute, and then we'll call him back. Um. So, oh, this weekend was kind of easy for me. My aunt, uncle, oh, my aunt, and uncle drove up from uh from Naples, and we got to hang out. Napleson? Naples. Oh, oh. Naples and. Oh, it's like where's Naples in that? Uh, so that was really cool. Have a voice. What do you think? Who it is? Oh, somebody from Sweetwater called me. Uh, sweet one. Oh, oh, to follow up. Yeah. Very nice. Have to call them back. Yeah. So, what else you got going on there, uh, Mikey? Um, it's kind of a quiet week for us. We're uh, uh, mom and dad are on lockdown for Christmas, like uh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, we're gonna. Are they smokers? No. You should go bring them cigars. Bring them cigars. We're gonna make it's for a, your uh, safety a, a masked food delivery again, like we did on Thanksgiving. Mm. Stand outside and wave at them. I mean, that sucks, so, man. I'm, I'm fuck, dude. Old, I, mean, I know, but it's just so terrible. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. This has been a year. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Been it a has. fucking year. Yeah, and I remember when they were talking about it in April. Like, pfft, right. It, it won't you know, last long. No. Oh, no. Well, I mean, you know, the guy, that one guy, was saying that. But you know, the other guys were like, "Yeah, we're you're screwed into next year sometime." It's like, wait a right. sec. No way. Now they're saying For maybe real? maybe twenty two. Really? Yeah. But the vaccines all pumping out and stuff. Yeah. Well, according to the, uh, what's he calling me? Oh, no. The gentleman we had in this morning, I don't see the advantage of the vaccine. No, I think the vaccine is definitely good. But he said he if he gets it he still has to mask up and glove up and yeah, of wear his moon suit. Of and everything. course, you, well he's in the medical field. Then why take it? Like he said. Well, what I, if it keep him from dying? I guess if yeah, he gets it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or potentially spreading it, or you know, mm. I mean, you know, even for guys like us, you know, we're out even though we are constantly vaccinating ourselves with this <laughs> fine tobacco. Right. Exactly. You know, fact, you don't want to better take another shot. Bring it home or anything like that. You know, God forbid, like that's got to be. Let's say it doesn't affect you, but it affects your kid. And now, you know, your kid's on a fucking ventilator or some shit like that. I, I know that that's unlikely, but if you can avoid that, like, I don't give a shit. I'll take the shot. Right. Fuck it. Where do I sign up? I'm probably not. But, like, I'm not even close to that <laughs> category. Maybe. You know what I mean? That's yeah, like, I don't think I qualify. It's for like, a, there, you know, there's they're doing 75 well, plus. They, they're they doing, find out that, you know, we have a built-up immunity from cigars. Maybe they want to hurry and yeah. give it to us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true. Or take some of our blood and make it a vaccine. Take this. Save the world. <laughs> You're welcome. Just, sit there smoking while they're taking your blood. Yeah. Let me fix that up a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you need a higher dosage? Okay. Yeah. Let's get that Hold covered. On, let's get that in there. Yeah. Somebody hand me the Neanderthal. <laughs> I'll take two HNs. So, yeah. Um, oh. Ronnie's really putting a damper ooh, on the show. Ooh, right? I almost forgot. What? I, I, excuse me while I slide over here. Oh. He's sliding. Yeah. Sliding. Oh, yes, please. Put your, so, jewelry. put your jewelry back on. I won't be able to put it on with the headphones on. But oh. we showed that last week. Did we? Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember our shows. Uh, so the the episode Brian was here, the the Manny. Yes. Okay. We did it then. So, so not last week, maybe the week before. So my brother has, is very upset about the fact that he has, not, he has not received the Room 101 ring yet. I've been wearing it around my neck. Um. Whenever I see don't, him, don't, I put don't it on. scratch the octagon yeah. like by Case Elegance. By Case Elegance. So uh, he, what I'm thinking is. Oh, I didn't notice it was engraved on the inside. Oh, dude, th you know, his jewelry is a big deal. It is. So what I'm thinking is it should probably take kind of a world tour or at least a U.S. tour. Yeah, yeah, continental United yeah, States. Yeah. Tour. World tour might be a little So bit. I'm thinking, you know, maybe we send it to, to Yogi. We'll call these guys beforehand and make sure that they're down. Send it to them. Take a picture of it. 
And then right. we'll, they'll sh- ship was, it to the uh, next he guy. Was, he was out cleaning sidewalks and stuff this morning. Hey, you know, the struggle's real. The struggle's real up there in uh, New York. Well, there's, I mean, I don't know why you'd clean the sidewalks. Nobody's allowed out. Bike, bike, uh, the bike route, bike route, whatever it's called. Bike route. Bike path. Right, route. And, you know, maybe maybe it goes to to Illinois. My, my boy in Illinois, Mr. Adam. He can hang it from his rearview mirror in his big truck. Yeah, you know, like right they can around. all do like a funny picture yeah. and then continue to ship it all the way around, uh, around the U.S. Maybe Mr. Walpert can put it in a jet fighter Walpert or Walpert would be great, we you know. Have it zip around in a jet fighter. Probably. Yeah, so, so like Places I, Places you know, that'll be cool. Yeah, I mean, my right. one concern, I might want to wait on until shipping until after Christmas. Oh, yeah, I get lost. Just because, yeah, I don't want I it to, <laughs> to I saw a disappear. Video. I saw a video today, and it was a box on a conveyor belt, and it was going up, but it had, something had hit it, so it starts rolling. Oh, my God. And it's God. just rolling. And they said, this is why your tracking is messed up. <laughs> it's just rolling. <laughs> so it's not going up or down. It's just rolling on the conveyor belt as the conveyor belt goes by. It's so bad. All the other so boxes bad. have been past it. Like, I'm sending out orders, and, like, nothing's even getting scanned. People are like, oh, did I you know. ship it? I'm like, I yeah. I know. We go to it, track it, it, and it's, it just says uh, tag made. <laughs> we or, shipped or it a week you, ago, man. Yeah. The, and then it, it delivers without even still shipping yeah. notifications. So they're, you know, so people are looking at, the, you know, the postal service looking at these boxes like, just fucking move them. <laughs> just just go, move go, them. go, 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 go. Don't even, don't even care anymore. Yeah. Turn those machines back Send on. Send it somewhere. Let's go, let's go. So, yeah. So the, throw the batteries out on the gun. So, Doesn't so, matter. Move it through. So the orders are going out. Yes. Has it been a minute? Should we hit them again? Hit them again. Let's hit them again, and then if we'll get one more time. We'll move on. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll go on to the news. Well, we're only at 17 minutes. Yeah. I hate it when you call somebody, they don't answer, and then you don't know if you're supposed to call them, they're supposed uh, to call you. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> your call oh! Voicemail again. Voice All right, Ronnie, you had your chance, bud. Yeah, we, we were going to let you lay okay, in Okay, now disconnect the cord, and we're not accepting the call. The whole shebang. Oh, man. So unhook the cord. He said, tied up at work. All right. Well, sorry. Tell him, say, you're blocked. <laughs> Let's see what he says. I said, podcast, want you on. Has, uh, uh, he, please, he, please stand he, by. He, he flicked me off. Oh. He well. said, ha, ha, ha. Oh, well. Well, we'll move on to the good news then. Can I do it one more time? All right, one more time. Let's see. He's about to text again. Let's see. Oh, can't take that one. <laughs> Not you. Sorry, not that one. Not available. It's a little red thing. Is that an apple? No, I'll explain. Two rings, three rings. I feel like if you... This is terrible show content, by the way. Your call has been forwarded. Okay. All right. All you right. know what? He's so done. here's the deal. I mean, he he, he went ahead and he, he hammered me on Facebook. I gave him an opportunity to hammer me on the podcast. and uh, He hammered you. I couldn't see any of it. I'm he, locked up. He just so. he just couldn't take it. It says, give me a couple. I don't know if we're... we're no, we, we can't, can't, can't go back. No, yeah. we're moving on. Womp, womp. All right, Michael. I think the congratulations are in order. <gasps> For what? You have made number 15. Hey. The SBC 18 is number 15 on the Cigar Coop 2020 Cigar of the Year Countdown. I heard about that. Dun, 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 dun. That's amazing. When a cigar excels in the flavor category, it goes a long way. This is exactly the case when it comes to the Postania SBC 18. Mm-hmm. Rapper San Andreas, and he just goes through all that stuff. But congratulations, you made the countdown. That Coop, he's such a sweet man. The 16 made somebody's last year. Was it his? It might have. I don't know. But I think it was 15 on whatever list it was then, too. Mm-hmm. But his is the first list that's out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's still plenty of time mm-hmm. for the other list, for us to make the other list. Is yeah, we probably won't make them, though. But, hey, you know what? I bet it shows up at least one more. You know, it is it is it is kind of cool when it does happen. You it, know, like you always, an honor just to be nominated. You go through oh, and you're like, shit. whatever, I don't care. Yeah. And then it happens, you're like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I want something. Gonna, hey, yeah. So do you so. get a plaque or something? Uh, I'll call Coopin' and send me one, yeah. We should get. We should get a plaque. Thing. I'd like some kind of trophy or something. I would like something. If you Participation. Could send me something do you have maybe a fifteen hundred dollar ring? You could say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you have we, a, we could tease Greg with piece of jewelry that I can not give to my brother. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That would be fun. So yeah. So nothing else uh, happened this weekend or anything. You got any shows coming up? You doing anybody's show? Anything? No, show? not doing any shows. You know, uh, man, this whole week is. Like it's crazy, you know. You start for me. I got three major events coming up. You know, Christmas Eve yeah. is a big deal, right? And then you have Christmas Day, right? And then the baby's birthday. That's right. 
So it's, like it's the, quite the trifecta. The, the, the trifecta, as yeah. we're yeah. The trifecta of things. Going I don't on. know what's going to happen after that. I want to move her birthday. I might do it in like October. Her, the, uh, her actual July birthday is not the 26th, though, is it? It's the 23rd. The 23rd. That's what I thought it was. But crazy. everybody will be in town. Oh, still 24, from Christmas. 25, yeah. Uh, so just, hey, boom. We'll just move it. Yeah. It's, yeah. Idea. it's not like she's going to notice. No. Until she's in therapy older. No, but what's really awesome is like uh, she, she's really been nailing like the bye, like the bye. She waves oh, her hand. Oh, yeah, so she, as you're walking out. you're looking at Amazon. She's going, bye. No, as you're walking out the door, she always hits you with the bye. Oh, <laughs> so sweet when they start talking. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's good yeah. stuff. I have to uh, carry on my interactions from the other birthday party to see if she still likes me or if she's going to scream when she sees me again. Because oh, yeah. they're towards the end of the birthday party. We were buds. I mean, we were. Yeah. No, uh, you know what? It's funny because my aunt and uncle came into town, and, like, when they walked in, she didn't know who they were, and she right. goes, ah! I was like, okay. And then she wouldn't go to Greg. She wouldn't go to anybody. Oh. Well, she doesn't like Greg. That's true. I mean, he doesn't really come around that much anyway, so, you know. He's very busy. Very super busy. Super busy. Super busy. Yeah. Oh, so. he's out He's out camping today, apparently. Or driving Ooh, back from camping Living his best life. Yeah. yeah. Kayaking and camping Kayak, in the great outdoors. A, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a outdoorsman now. I'm interested to see how it went because Chet went and pulled uh, uh, the, the stakes for the tent, I guess, were downstairs mm-hmm. that he borrowed. So Chet went and put them in the Jeep for him Friday night. The Jeep's been out front ever since. Ah. He didn't take the stakes. Mm-hmm. That's going to be quite a problem. Is it was very windy last <laughs> night. <laughs> what? So maybe they just... A giant sleeping thing? Or yeah. Something? I had a bear eat all my garbage this morning. Oh. That sucks. Did you get on video? No, uh, maybe. I didn't look. I just knew that I was very disappointed when, you know, because, like, the garbage men, they'll just, it doesn't qualify. As far oh, as they won't. Co- oh, so down so, by the curb or at the house? Yeah, it was down by the curb. Oh. You know, so, so you take it out late in, late last night. Oh, we always take it out the day off. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that. Hmm. And that's why I have to suffer here oh. because this bear went to town on my garbage. Made a mess. So you left it for your wife to clean up? No, no, no. I cleaned it. Oh. Okay. I cleaned it all. But the garbage men just drove by. Well, no. What they do is they- They're probably going no. to kick that one over. We'll say it was a No. Bear. So they took out the garbage. Right. Like that was left in the barrels. Ah. Uh, but- Nothing I mean, on the ground. That was probably like half <laughs> of what was- <laughs> Good like, foodie. You got all that good Polish food at your house. Son of a bitch. I'm going to fucking put antifreeze all over maybe, my, food, my uh, garbage. Why don't you just get a can of locks? Yeah. Why don't I just get a shotgun? <laughs> illegal to shoot bears. I know. I don't understand He's that. He's joking. He's not shooting the bear. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, they're endangered. There's not a lot the of How them. are they? They're not endangered. They're, they're, not running. Like, they're not like alligators. They're running these streets here. They're That's because problem. we have encroached on their natural habitat. The, the house has been there for 50 years. I mean, what? Yes, but they're coming from the area where they used to be that somebody has now built on. It's not my problem. Well, Take it, them back. It is your problem because the It is garbage. my problem. That's the sad part. We're getting coyotes in my uh, here in Delta. Ooh, coyotes! That sounds coyotes. like you can shoot those, right? Can you shoot those? I think I shoot coyotes. Yeah, so. they're because they, they they take animals. Yeah, they'll, they'll come, yeah, and they'll take come eat your dog, dog and your cat and stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's never good. No, mm. oh. not as big as you think they are either. I've seen a couple. No, lived out Eustace. Looks like big dogs. I mean, not even a big dog, like a medium-sized dog. Hmm. But they're very mean. Chapo hurt his leg. How did Chapo hurt his leg? Playing with the other dogs. So you killed the other two? So the other two are dead. No. Um, <laughs> how, was no the three, how was the interaction with the three? Are they getting... Oh, the, yeah. The, everything's all as well. Everybody, everybody. Like they, yeah, they've gotten better. You know, Falcor, the shepherd, is yeah. not not a big fan still. But st- but, <laughs> but she tries. She's uh, like, I'm trying. Uh, and then after a while, she's like, leave me the hell alone. I'm done here. But, you know... I don't know what else. Like, you know, so we're we're doing what we can. We're just kind of keeping an eye, monitoring it, and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go away, we'll have to take him in to the vet. I don't know what you're gonna do to him. Take in the the new dog. Yeah. Oh. Because for get, the oh for the limp for the leg. Yeah. Oh, it's like a horse. They just gotta put it down. <sighs> That'd be tough. I don't it's know. Expensive. Be expensive. I don't know if we're prepared for that. Ah, dogs can have three legs. Yeah. Was oh, you get a little wheelchair thing. thing. Is yeah. it a front or a back? Front. Oh, okay. They just think it, it. it wouldn't be good. It, boom. They kind of hop. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we're at 25 minutes. Let's take a quick little break here, and then we'll come back and get into the news. All right, sounds good. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right. (laughs) Michael, Michael, you had one job. Put your headphones on. You had one job, Michael. I have Welcome back to episode 153 of a Cigar Hustler podcast with sound now. <coughs> so what were you going to do 
for this episode. Oh, well, we were going to talk about what you and I talked about out there. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So we, we decided not to. Put the kibosh on it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. For all, all parties involved. Probably the better decision. Probably the better decision. All right. So I don't know do, what the do, fuck do, you don't know what I'm talking about? Do, 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 do. The no. text messages and the uh, internet thing and uh, the photos and uh, still nothing. Nothing. All right, I'll tell you later. All right. Do, 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 do. This just did. This just in. Southern Draw to release Manzanati this weekend. This past weekend they did. That I, that can't sound right. Manzanati. M A N Z A N I T A. Manzanita? Manzanita. Manzanita. Tomato, tomato. Southern draw, though. So Southern draw. There you go. Southern draw is celebrating the origins of tobacco as well as the anniversary of the company's co-founder this weekend with the launch of its newest line, Manzanati. Manzanati. Manzanita. 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 We can go with Manzanita. It says close to Manzana. Manzanita. It's Manzana, right? Manzana. Manzana. Manzana? Yeah. Manzanita. They didn't really need to put a phonetic thing next to these. Manzana. Isn't that stories. like apple or something? Oh, it is. Little Apple. Well, who is the uh, co-founder? I don't even know who's the co-founder of his company. Little Apple. Little Apple is? Oh. Yeah, Little Apple. Details about Steve the Steve Jobs. I don't think that's him. No? Details about the tobacco uh, in the blend are somewhat limited as the countries of origin aren't being disclosed. Monza. That is Apple. It's close to Apple. Manita. As the countries of origin aren't being disclosed. While the... Um, Manzanita. Uh, we'll see. The wrapper is a Habano hybrid leaf. The binder is a Habano leaf. And the filler contains Pelo de Oro, Corojo Manzanita. 99, and Lejero. It's nothing in Spanish. According to a press release. I'm just telling you right now. I don't know what it is. It's made at A.J. Fernandez Cigars Day Nicaragua SA, and we'll be offering in a... But you just said it, you didn't know where it was from. No, no. They're not giving the origins of the tobacco. Ah. Not the cigar. Please. Pay, pay attention, attention to yeah, the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, offered in a 6x52 Toro Vitola for the launch, while a Robusto and Gordo slated to be added in 2021. I'm just over here forest gumping my way through the cigar uh, Manzanata. Industry. Manzanita. Manzanita is a re- you know he did three live things this weekend. I should have watched at least one of them. So at least then I would have had the. I gotta feel like he he probably fuck it up too though, <laughs> you know, because got that southern draw. Yeah, he's a Manzanita. The company that's is forecasting man. annual production of t- for 2021 to be a total of 180 thousand cigars divided evenly among the three sizes. The that cigar sounds, got its name, which like means a, little sounds, apple. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I Why, had it. Abdel Fernandez, rubber Holt, talked myself and right out of it, too. Along I mean, with the members right. of their respective teams were inspecting bales of the Habano hybrid leaves that would be used for the wrapper and noticed mm-hmm. how they had an oily, deep red color. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Is it, uh, Reminiscent is it? of the red bark of a manzanita, manzanata tree. Are uh, they coming out with, like, the 9 and the XS? And will there be we a manzanita pro? to share the history of traditional tobacco. Manzanita and pad? Can you please not interrupt? I'm trying to... <laughs> I really like interrupting you, though. You do. You yeah. Um, let's see. Traditional tobacco and its... Manzanita. <laughs> and then we had an epiphany. <laughs> While working on names for a new cigar release, said Robert Holt in a press release, some nostalgic names were thrown around, but we saw this leaf, its deep red color, observed the texture, rolled the... Word I can't Ruff. pronounce. The... Tabacoidos? What, what's the small cigar? Tabacoidos? Tabacoidos. Tabacoidos. This is fun. <laughs> It is fun. Tabacchiados. Tabacchiados. Ah, and smoke them together. There was a unanimous endorsement that manzanita, manzanita. Mean, mean little apple in little Spanish apple. described the tiny apple-like fruit manzanita. was perfect. In order to move forward with the name, the Holtz consulted with Robert Caldwell of Caldwell Cigars, oh. who, offers, hmm, who offers a 4 by 42 Petit Corona Vitola called, oh, the same name, in his The King is Deadline. He agreed, and the line was on its way to fruition. Oh, well, that's nice of him. That was nice of Mr. Holt. You know what I mean? No, well, that was no, nice no, of Mr. Caldwell. Robert Caldwell, sorry. Yeah, because... Right, both had the same first name. He could have said, no, fuck you. Yeah, he could have. I've seen people do that. Oh, yes, I In have. the industry. You know uh, what? No, no, no. You know what? You're not, that's not going to happen. Pay me maybe a small Oh, that's a great name. Here, can you read this season to assist for me real quick? <laughs> oh, yeah. So you might want to change that. Uh, according to a press uh, release, the name is Connections to a Tobacco. Uh, uh-huh. To Tobacco. Connections to, to tobacco. tobacco. A is little apple has been used by native apple. population as a tobacco substitute for an additive to wild tobaccos, as uh-huh. well as for food and medicinal purposes for a millennia. Having apples in, in S. Lee is a big deal. Is it? Yeah. You can't get them? No, it's kind of like, you know, it's like a fruit. I don't know. Like oranges in Florida? 
No, it's like having the, you know ha- having access to them. It's like you're you know you're bougie, you're bougie, oh. yeah, I'm bougie. Skip has apples. Ooh, of course, <laughs> of course, Skip has apples. <laughs> you know, he just throws them. To <laughs> just, oh, just the fans incorporate a apple. respectful interpretation of the native art, while the color scheme is a tribute to Courtney L. Taylor, a longtime financial consultant and friend to Southern Draw, and in particular, Southern a nod Draw. to Taylor's cherished university athletic program. I don't yeah, because well, it's in New York. What? I don't. This doesn't. I don't know. Is it the same thing? Company has also announced. I feel like you've merged two stories. No, no. no okay. Right, 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 right. The company has also announced Manzana a charitable Nita. component to the release of the Little Apple. I'm just going to say Little Apple. Oh, man, that's soon. That's As some really of really the proceeds that. from the Little Apple will go to the First National Development Institute, an organization uh, endeavored to ensure the substantial economic, spiritual, and cultural well-being of their communities. Manzanita. Southern Draw has chosen Southern for its contributions to go toward the Nourishing Native Foods and Health Initiative, and the company expects to raise a total of thirty thousand dollars for the charity in 2021 with hopes to exceed that number at the end of the program the instant i smoked these tobaccos individually was amazingly satisfying but the most gratifying aspect of this brand is that it's not just one story it's a series of stories oh said sharon holt i'm glad i knew robert's voice that would have been awkward. yeah that would have been we'll be able to strange. share the sacred spiritual and cultural uses of traditional tobacco and support a remarkable native american charity while we publicly thank courtney for oh it's a guy hmm. courtney for his 20 years of professional dedication <laughs> to our ventures and for his friendship courtney i thought it was a girl it's, it's one of those names, like Jamie. Names. Yeah, it could go either way. You know, uh, what other ones? There's a couple. Um, Mike. J- yeah, Mike. No. <laughs> Jamie. I know Jamie for sure. Jamie. Like, <laughs> Jamie. Um, I don't know. There's other ones. Southern Draw Manzanita is being released this past Saturday via 10 retailers across the country, each of which are receiving 100 boxes each. Oh. Oh. We're not on the list. No, we don't carry. We don't carry on. Yeah, no. Okay, so but you could have Sorry. got it at F and M Cigars, Burn Premium Cigars, Ooh. Famous Smoke Shop. Oh, and, but not Abe. Different famous. Abe's, you mean Abe's, smoking? Abe's, yeah, smoking. Oh Sorry. my God, Ambassador, you got to take you know, some vitamins before you get on here or something. Ambassadors Fine Cigars, Atlantic Cigar Company, Casa de Monte Cristo, multiple locations. Oh, Hef's Place. Hef, you? Mishawaka, Indiana. Mishawaka. Mishawaka. I said that one right. Mishawaka. Scallywag Cigars. Oh, he's a good guy. We like him. That, yeah, yeah. Chris is my uh, friend. Davidus. Davidus? Davidus. Davidus Cigars. Davidus. Davidus. And Cigars International, also mm. multiple locations. Pricing is set up $14.99 per cigar and $149.99 for a 10 cup box, both before taxes. That's amazing. Moving on. Manzanita. Florida Senator renews a push for beach smoking bans. Oh, what? Yes, I knew well, you Well, you know, about but, this. okay. I like to smoke on the beach. Yeah. If my wife makes me go to the beach. I'm just smoking. You know, I make like, me a little ashtray in the sand. This is one of those regulations where we kind of fucking we get whacked on the head, even though they're not really aiming because it's it cigarette people. Yeah, because these assholes smoke their pack the of cigarettes are everywhere. and they throw them on the ground. That's right. And you know, nobody wants that shit. Nobody wants it anyway. If it's they would like, make little ashtrays like I do in the sand, and then like, you just yeah. bury them in the no, you're not supposed to bury oh, them. Oh, you can't bury the filters. Don't bury the filters. <sighs> But the tobacco is just leaves. It's just leaves. Just leaves. I think that all the time when I throw it out the window. It's just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take the band off? Because that's paper. That's paper. It's fine. Yeah, I always take the band off. Uh, I keep, I, uh, no, I, you know, I picked five of them out of the It depends on where. It depends on morning. Oh, the, really? With the little chomper thing, claws. Oh. They've been run over and was mushed. Oh. <laughs> Look like little brown That turds. happens a lot. Look like turds yeah. everywhere. Oh. Florida turds, State Senator there. Joe Gruders. From Sarasota is renewing his fight to allow local municipalities to decide whether they want to ban smoking on their beaches. As this week, he introduced the SB 334 for the upcoming legislative sessions. Currently, Florida state law says that only the state can ban smoking at beaches. Gruder's bill will change that language. It would authorize counties and municipalities to further restrict smoking within the boundaries of public beaches and public parks. Yeah. It would also prohibit smoking within all state parks. Now, if they said it excluded cigars, I'd be in. Oh, maybe we should contact. Uh, let's call him. Hook up your phone. Let's yeah. call. Hey, call uh, Joe. Hey, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. How you I doing? I just don't think you're, you know. This guy's a cigar, like, hu- cigar hustler podcast. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, like, got, we need to talk know, to you about We're just smoking leaves. Three, three, four. And if we put the leaves with the other leaves, it's fine. It's just more leaves. Yeah, it was just, you know. And I don't actually, get mad at the trees. Actually enrich the soil. Yeah, you're not banning trees. Yeah, shut them down. Shut down the trees. The matter has come up in recent years, as in 2017. Oh. A Sarasota County smoking ban for beaches was deemed to be unconstitutional. You know what's really cool to me, though? It's like, hey, people are dying. Uh, we're, you know, jobs are being lost. We're, the economy is in well, who the fuck knows what condition it is at this point. I'm going to go after cigarettes in the beach. 
Like, wait, what? How did you get there, dude? Well, the 2003 state law regarding smoking in restaurants, workplaces, and other indoor areas. I remember that. And that I was law in high it was school. written that only the state can make laws regarding smoking. Yes. Gruders tried to pass a similar bill in 2019, and while it was sent to the Senate Environment and Natural Resources Committee, it never received a vote and was indefinitely postponed, withdrawn from consideration. Womp womp. It passed the change we're going to effect in July 1st of 2021. The Florida Legislature's 2021 session conveys on March 2nd. By March 2nd, this guy will be on the something else. <laughs> Are we boring you? I'm sorry. With this story, yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, okay, boring? yeah, so no smoking. He wants okay, to do well, it. Okay, well, this is the end of the show. Michael needs a nap. Mm. Take a break for you to take a nap? No, I don't need a nap. I'm good. All right. I just want you to talk about something that's a little more interesting than uh, some guy trying to fight for the rights to regulate smoking on beaches. Oh, I have one more story. One more story. Oh, no, 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 well, maybe Ronnie will call back. Didn't start. Maybe we'll try running again because I uh, didn't start we'll the timer. One, up. No, one more run. One Let's see. More run Jake Wyatt, that. lithium cigars, Michael. Ah. Been looking to kick back after a long day. Some people reach for a cigar and a drink. Yeah, that's true. Jake Wyatt Cigar Company is hoping you reach for lithium. Oh yeah, the well, cigar, not the pill. Yeah, well we've uh, we've well, had, you we did the think, pre-release for that. Yes, we have those here. That's mm-hmm. why I'm doing this time, Michael. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you may be thinking of the medication used for treating psychiatric or psych, psychiatric psychiatric <laughs> issues. This lithium is the name of I the think company's you need some latest lithium, line, not the cigar. which received a limited release in November. You may need a lobotomy. We had it at the limited release. We did. Oh, this is one cigar we had before everybody else. <sighs> Hey, how did see, that happen? I told you. Something snuck through somewhere. Hey, people like it us. is a 17th line. Oh, we don't have the other 16, though. Which debuted in February some of their stuff. with a handful of lines that featured number of decorative tobacco flourishes. Mm-hmm. What's a tobacco flourish? Is that like the little design on the thing? Because they do. They have little things uh, into the thing. Hmm. The cigar uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and Dominican binder and fillers, but the company says delivers a medium full flavor profile. Huh. Ooh. It gets its name from a hope that the company has that it can provide a calming effect on those who are looking to slow down and chill out a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Is it infused with lithium, maybe? I don't know, maybe. I, I don't think it is. Let's not say that. Yeah. That's it's not even alleged. That's not true. Not, no, yeah, it, it's we completely lied. inaccurate. We just lied. Uh, currently being offered in a single 6x50 Vitola with both a covered foot and a pigtail cap. Hey. Oh, so cute. Covered foot and pigtail cap. That's nice. Pricing set at. What do we have for our I don't fucking know. Can I share a price? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, <laughs> set at $11 per cigar. And while the soft launch was offered in bundles, <coughs> the company will put them in boxes for the full release. But wait, there's more. For the 2021 Premium Cigar Association Convention and Trade Show. Slated to happen in July. Ooh. The company has thus far only released 200 bundles of the 10 cigars. Ooh, we have like half of those, I think, here. Oh, maybe. It is made at Tabla Calera. Yes. Said the name right. Oh, look at you. JVM in the Dominican Republic. Hitting your stride, eh? Well, I haven't been able to say that word in three years, so, you know, Mm -hmm. now I'm looking at Manzanita. Manzanata. Manzanita. The the apple cigar. Nobody, did uh, did Coop release any other uh, ones? uh, What, did he start at the top and go down, or did he? He started at 15. I think he does, like, it takes a long time. I saw a 16. Oh, really? But then uh, I think he went like 20 through 15 for the first one. Let's see. What's. Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, 13. Oh, what's 13? Southern Draw. Southern Draw. Manzanita? No. Oh. <laughs> Rose of Sharon. The oh, Desert Rose. Like Bellicoso Pino. Oh, that's the new one, the Desert Rose. And. What else yeah. we got on there? As we're uh, filling time. Uh, it could only be three minutes in. I have no idea. <laughs> Number 14, the Cohiba Spectra. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Hmm. Yeah. I don't uh, know if I've had that one, though. I think that was like a really expensive one. We have a listener of the week, I, Michael. We oh. do. Oh, do you want to talk, keep talking about cigars? Well, sure. I mean, I don't know. I have nothing outside. You're so confusing me. Listener of the week. You sound like so much fun right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know, Jack Toronto when he worked at General, he's like, oh, I'll get you some of those. I think that's the one that's in the Roomba. The looking, Spectra? Yeah. Spectrum? Spectrum? Yeah, 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 it looks like it's in a Roomba. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I think we yeah. meant to figure you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, it's in a Roomba. I was like, hey... Yeah, it came out last year at Christmas, I believe. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. And then he was very expensive. S- yeah. Yeah. And he was going to send yeah, it. It cost a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to give me one to try, but he never did. Never did. Then he got I'm shit still waiting can. on my psychedelic turtle. Yeah, it's never going to happen. That he says there aren't anymore. I see people smoking there. Oh, it's so funny because like you, you know like you got a healthy me. dose of like stuff, so you better find some more shit to complain about. <laughs> 
Hector's mad at me now. We got to write Espinosa. Oh, on really? Yeah. Why? Do you see? He put up something with like a um, uh, ham radio or something where yeah. he's tuning in the dials or something. Uh huh. And I commented on there. I said, um, Michael, do you need to have a talk with Hector about how podcasts work again? Oh, I saw that. He, said, he goes, really, bro? I said, I was joking. He goes, yeah. It's almost Christmas. I guess. <laughs> I love you, Hector. No, he's not mad at you. No, he's not mad. No, he's not mad. Right, I'm gonna get, was, okay, tell fun. me the listener of the week. We're getting Ronnie okay. for more minutes. Listener of the week. Dana McCool. Hey. The next governor of the state of Florida. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I, I Sky's her, the limit. I call her Governor Erin McCool when she comes she's, uh, she's you know, very she, nice lady. She's a, she's a great friend. She's been a she's great friend. She's on the city council here in uh, Deltona. She is, and she's been a great friend to this store and to me personally for yeah, years. Nice oh, maybe maybe 10 years. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is a Dana McCool that took on the water company a couple of years she ago. She did. With, paid them with pennies. Paid her with a, a red rider full of pennies. That was amazing. That was fun. And that's the type of person she is. Made all the news. Made the new you don't. Uh, you don't want to be on Dana's bad side. Nope. Not. Not at all. She calls me sweetie. As long as she keeps calling me sweetie, I figure. I'm and okay. like she, w- you know, before she had breast cancer and stuff, and when she was a smoker, she was so like she was like so amazing, so generous to everybody. Like you know, if she had a cigar and yeah. you wanted it, you're having it. You oh. know, here you go. Oh, it's one of one. Here you go. Oh, very nice. She's, she's that nice type lady. of person, and she still is. She's still very generous to people. Yeah. She has a locker here, I believe. Still. Yeah. Every once in a while, she has me send some goodies out to some people too. You know, oh, that's can, nice. Oh yeah. Oh. I don't mean to put her completely on blast, but yeah. Because now we go, never to me to go. Always made no. Well, yeah. it makes it mean something. She, but she is a she's a rare breed, you know. She is. Wish more people were like that. Give right. me this. I'm gonna call him again. You gonna try again? This, this is the red f- one. Th- Ronnie, this is your final attempt. This is it, Ronnie. It's your last chance. And then I'm gonna delete you from the Weasel Group. <laughs> Kicked out forever. He thinks he has me blocked there, so he can do it. But I just have Sean or Skip do it. Final attempt. You know, my father and I were just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Yep. I'm sure you're saying horrible things. Terrible, terrible things. Well, I mean, just so we can put a few things into perspective. Yeah, go ahead. In our family, like, I, and we hope that you're recording this because... You are. You're, oh, yeah, you're, don't you're, worry. You're, you're officially you're on the podcast right now. As we speak. Mm-hmm. Really, this is the podcast? This is it. Oh, I can't say what I was going to say. Uh, oh, go ahead, oh, man. Okay, go ahead. Come on. I made fun of you. Let's go. <laughs> you should have never said that, dude. I'd rather ruin your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think you can. You know, I, I will say this because I hope that you guys don't edit your shit. No, we don't. No, it's yeah, too much work. Go ahead. Go to town. I think you guys are arguably the biggest chihuahuas in the podcast. <laughs> So let me oh, Pop's yelling Chihuahua in the so background. You guys, you guys have a paid podcast. Yep. You guys yeah. throw shade on people that I haven't heard uh-huh. because you cower and you can't do it in real life on like podcasts like right yeah. now. Yeah, you're right. We don't we don't call anybody out on this podcast. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> what else you got? So, like a CR yeah, pile of cease and desist letters? <laughs> no. No. I haven't I haven't watched that podcast yet. I, I can't afford buying it because okay. you guys put out fake news and tell people I'm rich because you guys <laughs> No, no. We said your brother's rich. You guys, you guys want people to hate on me and not spend with me because you guys think I'm successful. I'm no, no. We don't ever want no. somebody to not spend Listen, with you. I spent with you. You have the Chet Rebellion. You have Mike Palmer. You yeah. have the New Girl. Mike Palmer have- buys cigars I from you. I bought cigars from so you. You can afford this huge payroll. You've got Instagram. <laughs> You've got a fucking hashtag that I even use called Cigar Hustler. You're because you're well, an amazing man. Hashtags are free. You're an amazing oh, man, and, Ronnie. And you guys literally say I have money. See, he gets. He no, got, his no. brother has money. He, he got. He got. He got mad because of the whole cardio but dude, thing. But like, the oh. thing is, it's like you don't talk about someone. Why don't you tell him, Bob? Tell him he could buy you and sell you for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to go to another brother. See, you can't. See, this is why I can't do podcasts. So this does get edited, right? No, it no, doesn't. No, 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 no not at all. I don't even know how to do that. What it is? We're not. Also, yeah, that's pops and my brother. It's got nothing to do with me. Still, <laughs> I'm just Ronnie, dude. I sell cigars, and that's what <laughs> you guys can't like go put out fake news about me. You know, some girl's gonna slide in my brother's DM and not know he's married with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, so don't don't slide into Ronnie's brothers. Yeah, so yeah don't don't like like homewreckers on the Cigar Hustler podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is new, but we're we're open. I mean, yeah. So, so you, the other subject that I wanted to talk about. I mean, I don't care if this ends up being podcast worthy, but like you can't talk about somebody doing cardio 
Yes. When you can't get to my size if you wanted to. Like no, I, I couldn't. Work out hard. Yeah. To be lean. And you do. You, you're like a rectangle. So I know. I'm a rectangle. Upside down triangle. So here's what I'm proposing. Go ahead. So propose. I just had back surgery, as you know. Uh huh. I'm going to work it into my regimen. Okay. I'm going to start rolling in a few days. Okay. You're obviously like 100 pounds heavier than me. Probably. So what do you weigh? You like a rad doll on a mat. How much you weigh? Um, then I'm 180 right now. All right. I got you by about 70. <laughs> So yeah, yeah but it's, so it's bulking season. If I you around so. like a rag doll, then it's like quite embarrassing for you to be like way younger than me. Okay, right? I'm 49. How old are you? Uh, I'm 36, sir. He wants to wrestle. Right. So 13 years older. If you get tossed around by someone this old, okay, bad, right? Yeah. But then if you like by miracle, like you can win. Yeah. And you can put me to sleep. Like I'm probably gonna put you to sleep. So uh -huh. at the end of the day. If you do that, you just beat up an old man. I can't lose. It's a it's a win win for you. That's true. It's a win win. It's a win win. win. It's a, I would never roll with you. You beat though. up the poor man with the back surgery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just so not nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't want to help my ego. So, you just want to hurt me. So you blocked Mike Palmer on Facebook. Yeah, we blocked. Not on Instagram though. He's my friend. On Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told him. Yeah. I just followed Secreto. I didn't even know I wasn't following your story. He gives you his money. Likes. Just so you know, it's it's never you know. Mike made a gay comment the other day, and I don't mean gay like it's a sexual way. I just mean gay in general. Yes, he right. said something like it's only, it's never only business. Bro, oh, you always yeah. business. No, it's never only business. Never brother. only business. Well, it always until it's just with someone who's just not a business person. Okay. okay. So, like, if they're not in your business type of person, yeah. It's that's normal, but when well, it's just business, it's just business. I just feel so, like, like if somebody said they weren't going to carry post on you and it was just business, you can't tell them, well, it's personal. <laughs> that would be bad. No, it's but oh, yeah, but when you when you use the line, hey, it's only business, that means that you know it's like, yeah, fuck you, right? I would rather someone give me a polite reason why they were saying it was only business because I just don't like that said to me in the sense of like it puts uh, business. To, but I don't really have that said to me. I'm like you said, I'm Facebook aggressive. Right. Facebook <laughs> so, aggressive. Yeah, I'm not real life aggressive. Just but it's Facebook aggressive. But it's but for me, I mean, this whole business, it's it's not only business. If it was, then I would probably be richer than what I am. Right. Like I mean, I just I I like uh, I'm a big believer in you know taking care of people and looking out for them and you know fucking. You know, damn no, the torpedoes. That's why you and I have always got along. Like, I've, yeah. there's never been a time, and I even include more, like, no different, but like more so in a way for like different type of stuff. But you, Abe, there's always guys. I mean, I didn't know what a website was for fucking cigars. It's probably, right. You know, outside of CI. Right. Outside of guys like you, Vince, Abe, like I didn't know guys like it really made that big of a difference. Had I not saw you guys doing it, Abe doing it. Right, you know, Abe obviously on a big scale, like Vince and call you and well, ask you guys questions. Yeah. I would have been dead during COVID. Right, I would have had to beg my brother for money. <laughs> yeah, and we, don't, and we don't want that. You no, know, no, no, we fuck, don't no. we don't want that at all. We don't want that at all. I'm going there for Christmas. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm Take him a nice gift. gift. Are you expecting a nice present from him? You know, he, he's been saying he's going to buy me something really pretty, but I don't want it. I'd rather have the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a car. Give me cash. He wants to buy me something. What so. if he gives you something you can flip? He would not sell it. That's the thing. He's all strings attached type of person. That's why I'm telling you. He's not uh, like me. <laughs> maybe he's getting a nice room 101 ring. I'm going to buy you that watch, but you got to wear it every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really... It's you know what's really kind of funny is like I'm looking at I was looking at your comments um, as you were you know on on full uh, full on attack for the for us in the podcast and I'm like you know if anybody actually doesn't know who Ronnie is yeah. yeah they'd be like holy shit are you kidding me like this is I always wonder like this like does someone think when they read that they don't know like in real life like me and this guy talk a couple days a right. week exactly when I, when I end it with like. The part about undoing is like yeah. Mike knew the whole time this is just rock. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's fucked up? Like you're one of the only guys, and I, I said this at the show to like probably four or five people. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, you meet somebody on social media and you talk to them like, you know, whatever comments. And those guys when they see each other, they know that that, that person is genuinely who they talk to on the phone. Right. Was genuinely and they're not gonna veer off that path. So like there wasn't like seven seconds where we both didn't know, like if somebody bumped us wrong from another brand, we were probably gonna beat the fuck out of them. Right, it's like, hey man, where is it? We, we knew that like we had like that kind of relationship where we were fun together. Right. So I remember like when we bet in the booth. Right. 
Oh man, that I'm was still too funny. Sore about that bet because wow, I forgot about that. Because I I thought it was like uh, yeah, we Mike. Uh, can we tell the? Can I tell them the story? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so Mike, I looked at him. I'm like, why are these guys not buying your stuff? Right. That's like the easiest sell. We, I thought they had already bought Roma. Right. They did not. So these guys are like touching and feeling stuff. I said, I'll tell you what. I bet you 100 bucks <laughs> I can close these guys. <laughs> and it was the worst rude awakening of my life. <laughs> I, I thought, I'm like, so I'm like, they, but they, they buy Roma. Mike's like, yeah, yeah, sure. But he had like no idea where I was going. So I walked up to them like, oh, man. Our salesman. I'm like, yeah, so, you know, I have a shop in Detroit. I sell this and telling these guys like my life story and a love story at the same time. Yep. And they're like, iced me. So I just turned around, looked at Mike. <laughs> and I saw the cuter version of me, Greg, wearing the same hat. And I handed Mike the 100 and walked away like I was broken. <laughs> like, it was like the saddest thing. I was like, how did that just happen? Oh, like, yeah. How do you go out with this many girls in life and you score every time and then two boys just piss on you? Yeah, and they're, and they're, it's like it's, it's like they ran away. Yeah, no, no, it was like no, I'm not kidding you. Like it was like, the, and I was like, he sits here in the booth and has to go through that all day. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that, that right? <laughs> exactly. Terrible. That's why I want to only work with smaller, you know, a smaller number of accounts. I'm just not, you know what I mean? Like if you're not interested, it's cool. I'm good, you know. Yeah, so. but I think people don't understand. Like when they say, "I want my own cigar brand," right? Like I think they think that you go to the show, you set up a booth, and then people just come in and hand you talk uh, to one. Right? Yeah, not even close. Not even close. No. That's why when all of our customers end up owning a cigar brand for like three weeks, I almost want them to do it just to get to learn the lesson. Right? Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, put all your money in there. We should actually do like a program where, like, we just go buy those bundles from wherever place you got those neon tiger crouching dragons. <laughs> <laughs> The tiger lily thingy, whatever that. I don't even know what you call that. Okay. You Carol Bash, Carol Bashkin, Carol Bashkin. So I, I actually, well, we'll talk about that at another time. <laughs> <laughs> um, those cigars. I think we should make that like a startup program. Like wherever you get those from, we should just tell people you want your own brand. Yeah. We'll just go partners on bands, and then let's see how far they go with their brand. Sounds good to me. There you go. I think it's a business model. I, I love it. I love it. Well, we're running out of time, but I wanted to call and just tell you that, you know, hey, it's all good. I, I, I still love you. You can berate me all you want any day of the week. So, you know, that's perfect. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I'm Hello, happy. And you're I'm you're happy. welcome on the show anytime, Ronnie. Yeah. And for the record, ladies and gentlemen out there in podcast world, I want you guys to know that although everybody thinks that Matt Booth has the nicest ass in the game, I'm a guy who likes bigger butts. I'm going spike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. I appreciate that. Thank oh, you very much. Very end, sweet of you, Ronnie. Way to end By the, the way, Ronnie segment. Tell people that I'm actually on this show because I'm probably like prettier than most of the guys yeah. you have. Oh, the ratings. Get more than oh. fucking views. Through the roof. Through the it's going to be crazy. Episode that, 153. Can't can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Well, hey, Merry Christmas to you and your family, okay, brother? Too. Happy New Year, guys. Tell um, your rich brother we said hello. <laughs> and, I, and unblock Mike Palmer on Facebook. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go. Well, before I understand it, tell you know when you've made it, when Ronnie has blocked you on uh, Facebook. Well, yeah, well, so. uh, you have arrived, I sir. have arrived, Congratulations. Ronnie, I pissed off Ronnie enough to block you. Oh, man. God, I love that guy so much. It's too he much. Is. He's funny. All right. All right, guys. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy happy holidays. Hanukkah. Happy, Hanukkah just ended, yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah. Yes. And uh, happy Kwanzaa to any of our African-American listeners. <laughs> going on, too. Everything. What else would I cover? <laughs> just covering everything. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's other things that you've, you've skipped, but happy I apologize. holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. All Thanks right. for listening. And uh, we'll have one more show before the end of the year. Ooh. So we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. This has been a Cigar Hustlers podcast, a Mike and Mike production. Be sure to listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for all new episodes. Hi, I'm doing I'm Husto y Raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just don't have to do a single uh, single podcast ever again. Perfect. Ever. I'm good, Mike and Mike. How are you guys doing? <laughs> the Hojo de... Mar- Hojo! It's the Hojo! <laughs> the you didn't even let him fuck it up all the way. <laughs> right, the I ho- gotta get past Hojo! Go on. <laughs> I, I don't even have to try to hit He's the not even gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna cover a lot of ground here, Mike. All right. Try to keep up. That's a sign of a good podcast. Maybe like <laughs> four cigars when I walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, end this. Mike, 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 Mike,